Hi everybody, this is a hand tech how-to using the built-in measurement features. So with the basic uh, hand tech and scope mode, you can see you've got your two channels displayed. Yellow is channel 1, green is channel 2. Uh, I'm using lab 2 AC circuit analysis for this example. So you've got here your basic setups for the basic input channels. You've got channel 1 which shows you your voltage, you've got the same thing for channel 2, and your time base. And under the menu selection you can change your channels, you can enable it, you can change the coupling, AC, DC or ground. And on page 2 you can do probes 1 times 10, band limit, limit and invert on off. So for this lab obviously we're going to be keeping our probes at times 1. So there's other features as well. There's two neat auto features. You go back into utility or into menu and you've got cursor and measurement. So let's on page three of the utility menu. So let's do let's do measurement first. So we click on the uh, go to page three, click on measurement, enable it, and up on the type frame right hand corner we get a lovely window in our display which shows us the maximum and the minimum voltages for both channels along with the frequency so I'm put I'm pumping out 4 kilohertz so 4 kilohertz is good and the voltages are what I expected from my multi sim now the other feature we have if we go back uh, hit return F2 we now have cursors there we go. And there's there's two types of cursors that we can use. So we'll enable it. And the first one is volts. So what this does is when we enable this, there you go, you'll see that I've got two dotted lines on the display now, both horizontal. If you go to page two, you can select cursor one and you can move the, the uh, top cursor up and down. And then you slide over to cursor two and you can move that up and down. And on the increment side, you can see the delta V. So now you can do a voltage measurement between any two peaks and you can get uh, you can get a reading of the, the delta V voltage. And in this case, I'm measuring the voltage on channel one. For channel two, it would be different because it's 20 millivolts. And there you can see where you change the channel. So now we can switch it over to time. And under time, you can see that we get two purple vertical lines. Uh, if I go to menu, uh, second page of the menu now, uh, cursor one moves the left line to the left and right. And if I slide over to cursor two, it slides the right line left to right. Now, the good thing here is, is I can go between the peaks of, of the waveform on channel 1 and it gives me a delta T under increment which is 250 microseconds which corresponds to 4 kilohertz. But the beauty in this lab is, is I can go between the peak of, of channel 1 and channel 2 and it gives me the delta T between those two peaks and from that I can establish the phase difference. And, uh, and that's it. These are the two measurement features that we have available to us.